Hi. Now one of the problems with cheap cameras is the fact that you can get what they call pin cushion and barrel distortion. Now a normal picture would look something like this, but a barrel distorted one would look like that, and a pin cushion one would look like that. This. And I'll start with this pin cushion one, and I go up to filter, down to distort, down to lens correction. Now I don't want the grid on, so I'm going to turn the grid off. I go up to remove distortion, and I click on the slider, and I drag it to the left until it looks correct. And this is really more by eye, because you can't always judge it by the, the uprights or the verticals. But that, that looks about right. Just a fraction more, I think. Now, I've got a little bit of converging vertical here, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just slide this a little bit till it looks square on the edges. I'm not going to get it completely square. And I've got a little bit of transparency here, which I just need to get rid of. So I slide that out, and I'm OK with that. And that's fine for that one. And as you can see, it's squared up. Now if we go back to the barrel one, and do the same with that, filter, distort, lens correction. Again we've got the grid come in, and I've turned that off, I don't want that. Now we go the other way with the just remove distortion, and it brings in pincushion effect, as you can see. And that's not too bad. But we've got to get rid of the transparency, so I slide this over until it disappears. And again, we've got the converging vertical bit. So I'm just going to move that a little bit, just to square it up a bit. A bit more transparency to get rid of that. And that's it. And that's fine. Now if we go back to the original, so we go back to the barrel. Although there's more on the original, but because you lose it when you bring in the sides. 